Hey big heads, it's your boy Zach, and welcome back to Smart Alchemy Stars News. We got Bethlehem coming back, but beforehand, if you enjoy what we do here, just consider subscribing. You know, it helps out. It makes me want to do more things. Just saying, being honest. <laughs> anyway, so yes, the Queen of the North is coming back finally after, oh, ooh, more than, say, like, what, six? No, like eight months. I, I can't keep track. But yeah, she's coming back, and when she does come back, they're giving a free multi over an extended period of time pretty much every day you log in you get a special star flare for her specific banner so use them for that banner exclusively if you don't use them they go away pretty straightforward apart from that there will be a mini game food cart king so i'm guessing it'll be similar to well if you don't know there was this little ice shaved ice mini game back in the day where you would just make people, people's orders and give it to them and that's pretty much all it was you got you know some loom member for it so it was a nice, nice little thing to do apart from that we also are getting the double drop event coming back as well so if you've been saving up stamina, this is the perfect time to use it. On top of that, the event preview is also going to be there at the same time. Well, a little bit after, yes, yeah, so on August 18th, while the summons actually start on the 11th. Along, <coughs> sorry, along with the login bonus, because the the moment the banner goes live for her, that's when the login bonus will start as well. So yes, they coincide. On top of that, we have the elite selection recommended banner coming back. The banner is actually pretty nice <laughs> because it has some really good characters on it. In terms of six stars, it has Icy, Nikenna, Sharona, and Iridan. Three of those are converters. And then Sharona is just a great detonator. And then we come to the five stars. It's Faust, Maggie, Pax, Sakari, Barton, Klecken, Nemesis, Beverly, Hydrat, and Araya. So pretty much all your standard great five stars. You know, the classic greats. But yeah. And then the standard three and four stars will be in there as well. Apart from that, we have Pax. Yeah, Pax. Anyways, um, the bonus for everyone will be <laughs> a star flare and 50,000 nidium. So, yeah. All right, now looking at Bethlehem herself, you can see that her stats do not go that high in actuality, but you know, she's an inverter, so that really doesn't matter. Looking at her actual skills, if we hop on down. All right, so breakthrough zero, because <laughs> unless you get lucky, you're gonna have her at breakthrough zero, unless you already have a copy of her and you're going for the second one, it's pretty much just a four for four in terms of turns for conversion. So you gotta wait for turns, then you get just like any tiles on the map to turn them into blue. Now, she becomes a lot better breakthrough because she gets preemptive and they get to start out and use it alongside Barton or someone to get that nice stuff going you know so you really burst somebody down now if you somehow get <laughs> enough to fully break through if you're really lucky then it does take the cooldown down by one and she becomes a lot better because you get the preemptive and you only gotta wait three turns and it's a three for four looking at her and combo it becomes a nice big chunky little star like a snowflake you get it <laughs> um at 13 chains obviously doesn't do that much damage because again she's a converter but her equipment skill which is the fun using the active skill or entering aurora time bethlehem's basic attack is increased by 10 percent for that round and the other or water aurorians get a five percent buff of her basic attack so that's why it kind of sucks that her attack already isn't that high like you know because the higher attack is the more buff everybody else will get but she does get a little buff and then we get half the buff but at the end of the day if you don't have Bethlehem already, you should be shooting or hoping you have enough to go for at least two copies of her. Because honestly, I only have one copy of her right now and I barely ever use her because there's better options. Like yes, the picking of tiles straight ahead is nice. So you can really line up how things you want, but you still gotta wait four turns to get there if you already don't have a copy of her. So yeah, if you already have a copy of her, you can try to get another copy of her and then she'll become a lot more useful. But if you don't, I don't know about summoning for her because again, you only get one copy of her. I don't see you using her that much because well, I don't because there's just a lot of other options that are a lot better in terms of why wait four turns? Why not could wait two? get four tiles converted that are green and red you know yeah <laughs> but anyways yeah if you have her you can go for a copy if not i would not recommend that shit but anyways hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you on the next one love you guys and bye bye